Good evening, traders. It's uh, Roland's Duki here, looking at the Nasdaq 100 chart. Last week, Sunday, we did the technicals, and we've given you a few buy entries, which was at 11,967, 11,942. And looking at how NAS behaved, we've reached TP1, TP2, TP3, and TP4 at uh, 12,175. And then we did say that if NAS breaks support, down at 11,942, we will go into a sell entry, which we did. And then we reached TP1, 2, 3, and 4. And if you look at this is where TP4 uh, was, which was our champion's TP at a price of 11,725. So congratulations to all those that have followed the signals and those traders on the group that has taken those trades. Now let's look at what's happening for NAS this week, we coming forward to. So NAS looking at the four hour chart, um, this is Sunday technicals and we are uh, doing this for Monday onwards, but Monday is going to be a public holiday in the United States of America. That is the Labor Day. However, uh, the markets will open for those that are not uh, working at the New York Stock Exchange. The markets will open. We can trade online for our currencies. We could take our trades. We could do as much as we can, but because New York Stock Exchange is not opening, we obviously are not going to see such a, a volatile movement of NASDAQ 100. So looking at NASDAQ 100, the four hour chart, we see what NAS has done thus far. It has come down to a lowest point of about 11,142. And if you look at 11,142, 11,142 is where it has reached a point and I've drawn a trend line up there at uh, from the 12th of uh, 15th of June uh, for our chart we're talking about till the 4th of September and we see that NAS will continue in this direction not 45 degrees because I've taken a 45 degree line angle from here but uh, much lower than that that's where the trend line is and however I've done a 45 degree angle and looking at a bar pattern, which I've copied and pasted here, it seems as though this bar pattern will be hugging the 45 degree line. And uh, the way NAS is currently pushing upwards after its uh, downtrend for the last two days in, in a row, uh, we can confidently do a buy entry at uh, our Fibonacci 61.8%, which is 11,960. And also another buy entry at 11, uh, sorry, at 12, 183.20. And on that grounds of NAS becoming uh, uh, bullish, we're going to take TP1, 2, and 3 at 12, 466, 12, 826, and 13, 0, 1, 4. Seems impossible, but NAS will reach in the price range of 13,014. Uh, uh, 13, and then I'm sitting a uh, great task ahead of tp4 which is our champ champions tp of 13285 now looking at the way nas has done uh, in the previous um, elections nas has the great potential of reaching this uh, particular prices so we know the election is coming up on the 3rd of uh, november so all well and good for them but we've got to make some money whether it goes up or go down so in the event that nas will will go lower to where it currently is. NAS is currently sitting at 11,540. So maybe a sell entry at 11,375, another sell entry at 11,272. Uh, let's see, then we can put some TPs here at 11,142 and 10,976, TP3 at 10,890. Uh, and yes, champions TP4 at uh, 10,766. And looking at these TPs, they, Definitely do not seem impossible. NAS could go down to, to close maybe our champion's TP. And if we take our sell TPs, you know, we're looking at TP4, about 600 pips or so. Uh, if we go into the, the the buy TP, you know, TP1, we can make like 500 pips. And, and astonishingly enough, we can, champion's TP, we can make like over 1,300 pips. So... Let's see how NAS performs uh, for, 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 for the Monday, Tuesday, going into the midweek. Uh, then let's just go into NDX. NDX has uh, gaps that it has filled around 11,721. 
Uh, however, we know that SPX has got some gaps still. You know, it has filled some gaps at three, I think three three nine nine and three four one two. But SPY still has gaps three two seven one. If we can see here, there we go further down. Three two seven one point thirty and three two eight four point fifty. So, on the SPX um, chart, if we go to that, we will see. That price is currently sitting in the region of about 3419. And looking at uh, a Fibonacci that was done on the 3rd of August, taking the high, taking the low, using the same analysis and based on where SPX is currently at, we can copy the identical trade looking at the bar pattern that we've copied from um, the 4th of September. We're looking at it going to 3512 as zero uh, percent, which could be your TPs. Uh, so let's just say if it retracts, pullbacks down to 3411, we could do TP1, TP2 at 3473 and 3512. So that will give us our TP1 and TP2 at um, on the SPX 500. And looking at the GAN fan. We, we see that the bar patterns hugging um, three, three over one uh, support line. So that's where we see uh, SPX uh, hugging our three over one uh, support line. So we're glad to say that we know that NAS will accomplish, SPX will accomplish. Uh, let's just look at the XPX chart. As I mentioned, that has uh, closed the gap of 3412 and 3399. The gap that is still open is um, SPY uh, gap of 3284 and 3271. If we're looking at uh, the NASDAQ 100, maybe by midweek we should do an update and give you a midweek uh, update as to what's happening with NAS and hopefully we'll accomplish our buys, maybe even some sell TPs as well before market closes this week. So all I can say for now, guys, enjoy the Monday holiday in uh, the United States of America and for the rest of the world that's trading. Uh, it may not be as uh, great as you'd expect it to be, but the markets will operate to a certain extent. Your brokers may also be sending you time schedules of when the market will open, when the market will close. So just be uh, aware of those times and those dates and we'll give you an update during the week and wish you the best uh, for, for this week of trading.